Hello everyone and welcome to the next video in the series. This is a problem solving skills video on the topic of change in the value of a quantity which falls under the larger topic of superposition. Superposition problems again are problems where the focus is on the terms, in other words on the additions and subtractions. And, uh, and change in the value of a quantity falls into, into that kind of a category. Now, as far as change in the value of a quantity goes, we agree that it's, uh, it's going to be the difference between the final and initial values of that quantity in that order. So it's always the final value minus the initial value. Now, in order to represent the concept of change, we use the Greek capital letter delta, which looks like a small triangle. And uh, delta, will represent the change in the value of whatever follows it. So as an example of that, if I write delta P, that means change in the value of pressure. And if we write delta V, <clears throat> that represents change in the value of volume. I would like to be clear that we are not multiplying delta by P here, and we are not multiplying delta by V. Uh, this is change in the value of volume. The whole thing is one concept. In other words, the delta and the V go together. Although delta means the phrase change in the value of, unless something follows it, uh, the meaning is not really complete. Like it's not really a quantity we can work with because we don't know change in the value of exactly what we're talking about. All right, uh, as an example of uh, how, uh, how this works, let's take a look at uh, problem number one. On the right side, uh, you can see the problem. It says that uh, this morning, the temperature was 19 degrees Celsius. It rose to 24 degrees Celsius by noon. Calculate the change in the value of the temperature. All right, uh, so we are going to present an algebraic solution for this with delta T representing the change in the value of temperature in degrees Celsius. Now, uh, lowercase t is often used to represent the value of the temperature in degrees Celsius. Capital T is used to represent the value of, uh, of temperature in kelvins. Now, lowercase t is also used to represent the value of uh, the quantity time. And uh, I guess it's the context uh, that determines whether we are talking about time here or temperature. All right, uh, so now delta t becomes equal to now we put down the final value, which is 24. Uh, here you have to be a bit careful and take your time and uh, be careful as to which value is the initial value and which one is the final value because order definitely matters as you see in problem number two coming up. In this case, we started with 19 degrees Celsius. So that's the initial value. And uh, then it rose to 24 degrees Celsius by noon. This becomes the final value. And changing the value of temperature becomes its final value and then we subtract the initial value, which is 19. And so delta T becomes equal to 5 degrees Celsius, or the change in the value of temperature is 5 degrees Celsius. We can say this, uh, we can have a closing statement now. The temperature rose by 5 degrees Celsius. <clears throat> now, of course, we say rose because uh, 5 is positive. In the next problem, delta T will be negative, and that uh, will indicate that we had a drop. Okay, next, uh, next problem. This morning, the temperature was 24 degrees Celsius. It dropped to 19 degrees Celsius by noon. So now we have the opposite situation. We start with 24 degrees Celsius and we end with 19 degrees Celsius. So 19 is the final value of the temperature. Calculate the change in the value of the temperature. And here's an algebraic solution. Again, delta T is the change in the value of the temperature in degrees Celsius. And delta T becomes equal to, now again, note that this time 19 is the final value. And so we put down 19 minus 24. And this uh, means that delta T is equal to negative 5 degrees Celsius. The negative sign indicates that the temperature dropped. As you can notice, uh, as you notice yourselves, we started with 24 and then it went down to 19. So we can now say that the temperature dropped by 5 degrees Celsius. Not dropped by negative 5 degrees Celsius, but dropped by 5. Because the use of the word drop effectively reads the negative sign. You could say the temperature changed by negative 5 degrees Celsius, but then you can say also that the temperature dropped by 5 degrees Celsius. All right, the next problem, 
uh, just to get some practice this one uses negative values and it says that the, this morning the temperature was negative 2 degrees celsius it dropped to negative 8 degrees celsius by noon so we expect that delta t will be negative because we have a drop calculate the change in the value of the temperature okay for problem number three uh, again we use delta t to represent the change in the value of temperature in degrees celsius and delta t becomes equal to now this morning that's the initial value negative two degrees celsius and then it dropped to negative eight by noon and this becomes the final value so it's negative eight and then we subtract the initial value which is negative two and there you have it now of course we can simplify this uh, we have we will uh, discuss this in, in a video coming up very soon on integers in the ts component of these uh, of these series but this can be uh, simplified to negative 8 plus 2 and uh, and it becomes negative 6 degrees celsius indicating that there is again a drop in temperature because uh, delta t is negative and so we can say that the temperature dropped by 6 degrees celsius Thank you very much for watching this video and uh, in the next video I will be taking up the topic of integers and that's a TS uh, video. Take care everyone and I will be gone in 3, 2, 1.